Hey guys, how are you? All right, so I want to make um, a custom insert for one of my Shannon Green custom keepers today, and I also want to customize the inside of the cover. Shannon sells occasionally scraps, bags of scraps on her uh, website. I'm going to link it in the description below along with the custom keepers. Now this is the one with a tool insert I had her do for my daily drawings, which I love. But one thing I discovered about this is there's plenty of room for all my pens and tools in here. But when I'm using it, if I have the notebook in here in the elastic, it's it's lumpy to draw on. So what I was thinking is what if I had, along with the tool keeper insert, a pocket insert. I could stick my sketchbook in there. When I'm working on it, I could take the sketchbook out. I've got all my pens here. When I'm done, I can put it back in. The whole thing gets wrapped up nice and tight and neat, stick it in my handbag. I love that idea. So hopefully it works. <laughs> if you're seeing this video, then it did work. Um, so I took some of my scraps that I had and I didn't quite have any that were big enough um, for what I wanted. So I'm going to have to piece the base of it. And the base of it are out of some scraps of fused vinyl. And I cut two sides that should just like squeak a sketchbook in. And then a piece for the middle because this by itself was a little bit too tight. Then I took unfused vinyl and I cut some pieces that are going to be turned into pockets. Yeah. And so let's put this together. I have my sewing machine set up with a denim needle on it. You don't want to go too fast. Just use straight stitches. Um, don't have your stitch length be too small um, or your tension be too tight. Um, yeah, because this is going to be really thick. And your standard home sewing machine may have a little trouble with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and this piece here and I'm going to sew them together with a straight stitch all the way down right here. I'm going to go backwards and forwards at the beginning and the end to lock the stitches in. That wasn't the straightest seam I've ever done. <laughs> Just FYI. Okay, let's see how that worked. Yep. So there we go. So now we have one. Yeah. Looks good. All right, so now I'm going to attach the other one. And I think just to keep it as flat as possible on this one, I have this part on top of the center piece. And on this one, I'm going to have it underneath just to keep it as. Uh, trim and flat as possible. I'm going to trim some of these little hairy things off the edge here. Okay. So again, we're going to overlap them. I don't know, I'm overlapping them about an eighth of an inch and then sewing right down the middle. Hear how it sounds like the machine's going thud, 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 because it was really thick. So don't go too fast. Your denim needles are nice and thick and sharp, and they're made through going through thicker materials. So make sure that's the kind of needle that you use. Okay. Now we're going to see if I guesstimated correctly. Oops. That's pretty good. Let's see if I do it that way, if the book will fit, because that's the trick. I think so. So I'm going to take, this is the piece that we made. Whoops, where are we? There we are. So here's our piece, our base, right? So I'm going to take, this is going to be one set of pockets, and I'm going to sew all the way down the short side, across the bottom, and up the other short side. And then I'm going to trim it. And I'm probably going to do the sewing from the back side so I can see these short ends here. 
and then I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to sew straight up this middle from this point down to the bottom. So to make sure I get the point I'm going to fold this in half along that point and I'm going to I'm going to just finger press it. Basically press a, a fold into it. Okay. Um, I'm going to So when you're working with vinyl products, you can't really trim them. And I have little small clips around here somewhere, but these are on my desk and they're easier. So I'm going to use some of these Bulldog Clips Office Supply Store clips to just position the vinyl and then hold it in place while I'm doing my sewing. I only really need two. And I, I'm going to keep it, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or so away from the edge. Trim your threads close. This is not one of those projects where you want lots of loose sloppy thread. And then trim off the excess pocket material. So now we have that. So before somebody asks, this base piece is about um, 11 inches long by 7 and an eighth inches high. And the pocket is the same length as the base, but it is um, 1 in three quarters inches high on the short end and three inches high in the middle. Um, and this is made to fit the custom keeper that fits my five by seven inch no um, notebooks. I don't know at uh, the filming of this what size exactly that is, but if I can find out from Shannon, I will um, let you know and I'll put some measurements in the description for you. Okay, so now I'm going to fold down that fold, sew down that fold line that I creased in the middle. And because I don't want a insert with just pockets on one side, I want pockets on two sides, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Again, we're going to hold this in place with some clips. You could tape it in, you could use the masking tape. And we're basically just going to follow the stitching line from the first one that we did. Now you have four layers of vinyl here. So as you sew this on, you want to go slowly because the thicker you get, the harder it is going to be for your machine. 
Can you hear how it's really clunking now? Oh, and I ran out of bobbin thread. Of course I did. Oh, no, I didn't. I just missed a spot. Okay, well. That's what happens. It missed a spot. Let's try that again, so, shall we? I could cut the mistakes out of the video, but I'm not going to. So when you get this extra other piece of vinyl on here, it's really easy for the machine to start skipping stitches because it's really not happy. So I'm going to go over this one corner here a little bit where it looks like I missed a stitch. Cut all your little threads off if you can. Okay, trim your edges. And then we need to sew up the center like we did on the first side. of the threads and we should have something that will fit my notebooks and I could fit four notebooks in here I really only use one that's this big size so these other pockets are plenty big enough for actually the smaller ones that I, I draw with um, which is great yeah this is gonna be good it's going to have to be broken in a little bit because it's like really stiff, um, like leather. It's going to have to be broken into. I also want to put um, pockets into the inside cover. So what if I, instead of doing all that, I want to just tuck this big one into the cover and then have small ones into the other pockets. So I cut some more pieces of the unfused vinyl and cut them to a size that will fit along this short end of the cover. So we're going to stitch those in. This first one I kind of tried to trim it and then I thought better of that so I would not like try to round off the corners. I would leave it, leave it untrimmed and then just trim it to match after you get it sewn in. I would also clip this. I forgot to clip it in. I would, I would use the clips to hold this to the front cover. Oops.
Okay, trim the threads. I would also, if you're going to do this and put pockets on your cover, um, do it before you decorate the cover. If you're going to like paint the cover or something, put the pockets in first. It's not good for your sewing machine to um, be sewing through um, paint and stuff. It's bad enough we're sewing through the vinyl. So I'm going to do the same thing. This one's untrimmed. I'm going to just sew it in and then trim the corners after. Where's our clips? <laughs> Look at it. The first one's a little bit crooked. I can live with it, but let's try to get the other one straight. Okay. Trim the threads. Trim the corners. piece hanging off over here. Okay. So now you have pockets inside the cover and if I wanted to use the insert for smaller notebooks I could do that and I could just put my big one in the cover in the front or back cover and that's going to work like a charm. So I'm going to get this uh, reloaded uh, and strung. I have to put the string back. So I'm going to do all that and I'll be right back.
Okay, that will work really well. I love that. And I may just load it up. These are actually from my Delphonics bag, the pens and stuff I put in here, they're from here, which I keep um, out in the front room and I love that bag. I may just fill this up with some spares so that I have it ready. I kind of just shove my sketchbooks in there and then take it with me like when I go on a trip. This, I love it. I'm gonna include Shannon's um, Etsy shop in the description and any relevant measurements for you all. If I forget, somebody remind me. Um, if you want to know specifics about what's in here, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know it's in there, what my favorite sketching supplies are. Um, but that's it for today. I hope it gives you some ideas of maybe what you can do um, to customize your tools, your supplies, and your storage to suit your needs. That's it for right now. I hope you all um, have a great day, that you're inspired. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And like, share, and subscribe, please. I'd appreciate that. That's it for today. Bye. Thank you.